G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a swipe for you today on my 30 centimeter by 40 centimeter thick card. So I just get this on eBay. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon or maybe stationery shops. Um, now I thought what I'd do is do a series of swipes where I swipe with a different color. Because normally I swipe with black or white or navy, but let's see what happens when we do different swipe colors. So today I'm gonna to swipe with this, uh, sort of a burgundy color. It's called Mauve, it's by Montmartre. So that's the swipe color. And then the colors I'm going to use are these lovely bright colors. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. Uh, turquoise, orange, pink and this is medium yellow they're a bit bubbly I've only just mixed them up because I thought oh let's go and paint because I haven't painted today well actually I have painted but I've been doing blobs so it can take me you know hours um, to do and then I video it but you have to wait a couple of weeks before you can see it so it's a bit of a pain um, now spot on treadmill silicone now the pouring medium for my swipe is my usual 60% glue, 40% water. But instead of doing one to one, like I do with my flip cups, it's one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint, so it's thinner. And then your swipe color has to be thinner again, so that's two parts uh, pouring medium to one part paint, okay? And you don't have to put any oil in that. You can either put your oil in that and not in that, or you can put your oil in these and not in that, so up to you. So I'm just gonna put in two drops. Now, when you've opened that, that's just all you do, you squirt, turn it like that. Don't try and take it off or anything. And just, don't squeeze, just very gently, just hold it above and let the drips drop in, or the drops drip in, whichever you prefer. If you squeeze it, you'll get like 20 drops in there. So don't do that. There we go, two in each. Give it a good stir around. I hope this works. I didn't even do a practice. <laughs> Just going for it. Because so I finished my series now of my placemat and coasters. Did you guys all see that? Did you enjoy that series? So now I need to find another series and I thought it might as well be swipes. I will throw in other things in between so you're not seeing swipe, swipe, swipe every day. So I'll still do my flip cup pours and some blooms and all kinds of things. Um, I think I'll start doing some, a couple of pearl pours again because I haven't done those for ages. Let me get my gloves on. So the first thing I need to do is just cover the surface. Now in here I've got uh, 45 grams of pouring medium and 30 grams of paint. Hopefully it's enough to cover the surface. So I'm just gonna pour it on and then tilt to cover the surface. I don't know if you can hear the noise outside. My husband's on the ride on mower. Every time he comes back from work, because he works away, every time he comes back it rains. <laughs> Seriously, it rains. So this afternoon it stopped raining and he thought, right, I'm getting out there on the mower. Just overlap a little bit, cover in your areas of the surface there that you can see. And then obviously the next one will go through and we'll fill in these ones. So I try not to, you know, overlap them too much because I like seeing the distinct colours. I don't want them to blend too much. So I just do it like this. And once it's, um, you know, tilted, it's going to blend a little bit anyway. Righto, orange. I don't think I might, I don't think I'll use all the orange actually. I think it'd probably be quite an overing, overpowering colour. And then we put on the turquoise. Turquoises and oranges work nicely together. And I just thought, you know, they're all kind of hot colors. You better throw in a, one cool color anyway. 
That looks pretty, doesn't it? It's like candy. Candy colors. Easter egg colors, hey? Okay, so that's John skis. Now, I've just got it on this. Move you out of the way. <clears throat> I've got my sheets of paper towel ready to go because when I swipe down, I'll just clean them off on there. And I've just cut a big sheet of my plastic in half lengthways so that I can, I'm gonna do swipe that way and then I'll turn around and I'll swipe that way. It's just plastic. <clears throat> used to be a document holder that I've cut up, so nothing special, just find a, a piece of plastic. All right, now we just have to tilt Cover the surface. Make sure the whole thing's covered. Okay. Don't want to leave too much paint on the surface because then your cells will keep growing. But a decent amount on there that they can grow a little bit if they so desire. Oh, I'm just reaching for my tweezers. I stick it in the top of my glove box and I know where it is just getting out a little couple of blobs there of unmixed paint or whatever they are okay righto oh and uh, where's my blowtorch yeah I've got my blowtorch ready to go because that you need that to um, bring your cells up now this I did uh, what did I do 40 grams of, I think I did 40 grams of pouring medium and 20 of paint, which is a lot, like I don't need it all. I just need a very, very thin little strip through the middle. If you put too much on, when you swipe, the swipe spreads that, that red and um, you'll have too thick of a line in the middle, it's, which is okay if you want to then like balloon dip into it, you can, but we'll see what, see what happens. We'll just go with a a little thin strip start off the surface first so that you don't leave a blob there I'll see how that goes I can always add more although the trick here is I didn't go very straight and my plastic is straight <laughs> there we go see if I can straighten that up a little bit all right now just touch your plastic don't hold it on the side it's gonna curl in like that hold it down the bottom just gently, uh, see I can't do this because I'm going to touch the pink there, I'm, I'm just going to have to, it's because I didn't do my line very straight, that's why, just have to add a little bit there, because it's such a narrow little strip you see, I'm just going to try and get that plastic into all of it, all right there we go, got it, hope I got it. Okay, make sure one foot is behind the other and drag. Okay, and then wipe that off. See, that's why the paper towels there, very handy. Got a lot of red there. Now I'm going to turn that around because I added more on that corner, didn't I? But we'll see what happens once I've torched it. Now that's dirty and I don't want to put that in again into the paint because we'll we want to keep it red in the middle so just turn that around and I need to put some more red there again so that I can pick up the red and not the other color otherwise you're pulling like pink across whoops okay so back into the red let it touch let it sit there for a couple of seconds and get a good grip and off you go look at that doesn't that look pretty there wow that turquoise in the, the red there that's so pretty I actually didn't use the bottom bit look I've got cells there didn't use that bottom bit maybe I can keep it for another pour so I was going to use one side and then get rid of it and use the other but looks let's save it let's save it right now the fun bit oh I've missed a corner there now let me get my little card 
These are very handy, these little sample cards. This is a Dulux from the hardware store. And uh, you can just make sure that you've got enough there that you're going to actually cover the area that you've missed. There we go. Look at that cell, oh my gosh. I didn't actually go down far enough there, but actually why don't I do that again? Because that's quite a lot of red there. I could probably go again and pick up some of that red there. Cover the bottom bit there that I've, I've missed. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of a streak of other colours because, you know, you've got the streak of yellow, then yellow, then turquoise, red, you know. Uh, that looks pretty, having all those different sort of streaky colours in there. Right, so let's torch and watch the magic happen. Not too close. This is a thin mix, so it'll be quite reactive. But don't get too close. go over once nice and high see what happens and I can always come back again where there's a lot of red just there I might not get much through we'll see what happens because it's it, you know it's a thick layer sitting on top so I might not get much in that red area. It'll be maybe some negative space somewhere for the eye to rest. Look at those cells coming up. Wow, aren't they pretty? Wow, wow, wow. Wish I could get some more down here, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think that red's a little bit too a bit too thick there. Um, the only thing I could do is like swipe again over that but then I disrupt what I've got so I'm just going to leave that. So I'm getting really close there and kind of burning those so just leave it as is. Not too many cells. I like to see, I personally like to see the background. I think that's really pretty. So there we go. What do you think of that? Uh, if you wanted to, you could get your um, balloon out and do some dipping. Um, I don't think, see that my mix is, is really thick and wet at the moment, so I wouldn't do it at the moment. But if you wanted to do it, you could wait maybe eight hours or so until it started to dry. Um, if you're doing this in the morning, you know, come back in the evening and do it. Or if you're doing it at night, wait for the morning and then come back in the morning. Right, let's go down and have a little look, hey? These down here are amazing. Really pretty. This is quite a bit of turquoise. I didn't pull much of the red over the top, so I'm getting a lot of turquoise there. Let's see if I can zoom you in. And then I'll take you down for a close up. If you think of those colors together. <laughs> oh, I never would have thought to put those together, but they've turned out really pretty, haven't they? Okay, let's go and have a look. Turn my light off. Now this is the section that I love. Look at those cells. You don't get the same type of cell from a swipe than you do with a flip cup. Like they're, they are like a different shape. Especially when they sort of bump into each other. When they're over here and they're just singular, you know, just floating around, they're round. But when they're next to each other and they bump into each other, they, they do lose their shape, so they don't look as round. So we've got some lovely shading, haven't we? Different colours of shading. And then over here in the more turquoise, look how bright those are. Really, really pretty. 
look at that one in the corner it's like cells separating isn't it under the microscope I'm just gonna have a little play with it and see if I can drag and just see how these little wispies are going through it's just given me an idea to um, to drag it let me just pop the camera back up yeah I'm just inspired by those little featherings there I wonder if I get just this little skewer Actually, let me turn it around so I can do it towards me and just see what that looks like I just sort of continue that through and kind of wriggle that through Actually, I might need to use a thicker end I'm not getting much there oh that's better look at that you can stop halfway There I sort of scratched down to the, the board, so I probably shouldn't have done it quite that hard. Look, and this, I don't know if you can see, there's some little tiny yellow ones there. Let's continue that through, hey? Oh, I like that. And these ones, see the, there's natural ones through there as well. So let's just enhance those a little bit. And let's go the opposite way as well, just to drag that yellow through. Maybe some can be longer and some can be shorter. Ooh, I like this. This is fun. My husband's finished mowing. He's come through the front door, set the dogs off. <laughs> I'm just wiping the end of this onto my puppy piddle pad when I'm done just to clean that off so what do you think do you like that <laughs> you don't have to like it it's okay if you don't I'll just continue that through a little bit through the center there looks nice if you actually continue the line the same line through like that rather than break that line what do you think hmm I quite like that it's just added a little bit of difference to the area that's a bit plain see that there's a natural like orangish sort of a stripe through there anyway um, I guess you could make them thicker if you wanted to be more like like that what have I got that's thicker mm, I've got this little palette knife I wonder what would happen if I used that oh look at that Oh, that's pretty. That's better. Oh, I like that. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, I like this. This is fun. It's just, you know, blending the colours a little bit more. And I'm just wiping it each time so I'm not putting a dirty one back again. Now, if we take it on the same line I think that would look nice wouldn't it should have done a bit with this one first but I thought the skewer would be okay look I'm getting some pink through there now you can just have a play Adds a little bit of interest, doesn't it? And then as you get to the end, like turn it on its side to give a point. 
like that. Just so you, you're ending in a point rather than um, a blob, if you know what I mean. A little bit of a wiggle there, I don't know what that's from. Okay, I might leave it at that. That was fun. <laughs> little short ones in here like so how's that and then yeah I think I do need to like go each side I just think it looks nicer if they have match at the other end there as well I'm loving that yellow that's coming through that's really pretty okay I'll just do that. Righto, let's leave it at that. What do you think? <laughs> it's a little bit different, isn't it? I like it. All right, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Look at those cells. And um, I'll see you next time. What colour will we do next? Let me know in the comments what colour I should swipe with and maybe what colours you'd like to see underneath the swipe, okay? So we'll do a little series. Um, and maybe sometimes I'll balloon dip into it. Sometimes I'll do these little streaks. Sometimes I'll just leave it. We'll think of something and we'll be creative, hey? Something a bit different. All right, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Bye for now.